Mm. We have a very exciting day today, as last night our little Stimson's python started to hatching out, and now our carpet pythons are coming out, popping their heads out and saying hello to the new world for the first time. So, very exciting. We're going to finish this cup of coffee, I'm going to go out there and try and cut them open, make sure they're all happy and safe, and we'll go see what we've got. So this is quite an exciting clutch that I've got here in my hot little hands. And what I'm about to do is actually optional. So basically these guys are popping out of their eggs and I am going to go and cut the rest of the eggs open to make sure that none of them get stuck in their eggs and drown. That's an optional procedure. You can let it be and leave it up to nature for them to come out. But I just want to make sure. And I'm a bit excited because there is possible, the, this clutch is actually 100% het albino to 100% het albino. So meaning we should have some albino little babies in here. So very, very exciting stuff. Plus they were carrying a caramel gene, hence maybe sun glows. So fingers crossed, let's see what we've got. What I'm doing is I've pinched the egg, make sure the snake's not in there. Now I'm gonna cut, cut the pinch. Oh, no more, I think we've got one. Oh, yeah. Have a look at this, hang on, is he, is he? Yeah, look at that. Look at that little albino in there. Woohoo! Let's have a closer look. It's like the lottery. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, there you go, just looking at those two. You can see the difference there yeah. between looking at those two animals. You can see the... Very yellow and then very dark on the other side. Yeah. You beauty. Mm, this one's frothy in here. Let's have a look. See how... Look at all these little slices. So this guy, this is why we go in and pip them all and cut them open because all those little slices there is him struggling he's been trying to get out of his egg and maybe the egg tooth didn't develop and yep he's dead so poor little fella drowned in his egg and that's why we're going through and cutting them all out now what a shame hey poor bugger a drawn out long 62 day wait but it proved out to be a great wait because have a look at this little guys like We've got the little albino, 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 three albinos. We've got, in these guys, there'll be caramels and there'll be super caramels. You can already see lighter colours coming in and all sorts of stuff. So, these guys, we're going to throw them back in the incubator, let them warm back up, come out of their eggs themselves now. Now that I know the rest of them are all safe. And um, we wait 14 days for the next shed. Then we'll really start to see their true colours starting to come out. And it's all uphill from there. Let's, let's do it. And these are our cute little kids that came out last night. Check them out. They're tiny. These are giraffe wheat belt Stimson's pythons. Aren't they so cute? Check them all out. It's going to be a great season this year. Just going to pull all these little eggs. Just pulling out all the little empty eggs now. As they all start to disperse and empty out. Good stuff. Okay, so it's just been over two weeks now and we've got some awesome little snakes to show you. They've all had their first shed and looking gorgeous. Look at that. 
That's a caramel, carpet python, possibly het for albino. Beautiful animal. But there's plenty more. So as far as the hatching setup goes, I use these small tubs. It's all got heat cord routed in the back of it, of the rack system. Water bowl, nice little hide, and paper towel for the substrate. Paper towel is my best friend. So we've got caramels, as predicted, but we also got our little albinos. So these are most, these are sun glows. So that this, this guy carries a caramel trait, as well as the albino. And it's just beautiful. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? Awesome stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching another episode of Mates with Snakes. Don't forget to subscribe to YouTube and like us on Facebook. See you next time.